Chemical equations. Chemical equation represents a chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction, one or more chemical changes occur at the same time. Arrangements and bonds between ions and atoms is changed, and pure substances, elements, and compounds are converted into other pure substances. A chemical reaction is represented by a chemical equation. This word equation represents the production of nitrogen dioxide, a major pollutant in cities. Nitrogen monoxide plus oxygen produce nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen monoxide and oxygen are the reactants, and nitrogen dioxide is the product. This word equation can also be written as a symbolic equation. 2NO plus O2 produces 2NO2. 2NO and O2 are the reactants, and 2NO2 is the product. The value of a symbolic equation over a word equation is that it gives you a ratio. It tells you exactly how many molecules of each type of substance are required to react, and the number of product molecules that are produced. In this case, the symbolic equation tells us that two NO molecules react with one O2 molecule to produce two NO2 molecules. Note that the one in front of the O2 is not written and is simply understood. Remember that this arrow means produces. Another way to think of this reaction is to say that nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen to produce nitrogen dioxide. In the equation, the letters written beside each of the substances represent the state of matter that that substance is in. For example, G represents a gas. In this equation, both the, pro the reactants and the product are gases. S is the symbol for solid, L is the symbol for liquid, and AQ or aqueous means that the substance is dissolved in water when it reacts. The numbers in front of each of the substances are the coefficients. Here we have a 2 to 1 ratio of nitrogen monoxide to oxygen. Remember that the one is present, it's just not written, it's understood. This is a, a chemical convention. So the coefficients tell us that two nitrogen monoxides react with one oxygen to produce two nitrogen dioxides. Coefficients are integers placed in front of the formula or a chemical symbol for an element. They show the ratios between the compounds in the chemical reaction. Subscripts show the number of each atom in the compound or element. So for example, this subscript tells us that there are two atoms of oxygen in an oxygen molecule, and this one tells us that there are two oxygen molecules in a nitrogen dioxide uh, molecule. There is no one written here, but it's understood. That means that in each molecule of nitrogen dioxide, there is one nitrogen. Similarly, in nitrogen monoxide, there is one nitrogen and one oxygen. The ones are never written, but always understood. If we actually draw out the atoms and the molecules, we'll see that 2NO really means that there are two nitrogen monoxide molecules. Here nitrogen is represented in black and oxygen is represented in white. We have a one-to-one -one ratio of nitrogen to oxygen in each one of the molecules. So this is one NO molecule and here's the other one. Nitrogen monoxide reacts with oxygen and here we see one oxygen molecule. There are two oxygen atoms in each oxygen molecule and since there is only one oxygen molecule, that's what we've drawn here. This reaction produces two NO2 molecules. Here's one NO2 molecule, and here's the other. We can see the nitrogen and the two oxygens in each one of those. 
During a chemical reaction, you can see that atoms rearrange themselves. No new atoms are created or destroyed. The total number of each kind of atom present at the start of the reaction equals the total number of each kind of atom after the reaction. So in this case, on the left side of the equation, we had two nitrogens and four oxygens. And on the right side of the equation, that is the products, we had two nitrogens and four oxygens. These atoms have simply rearranged themselves and formed new bonds. This brings us to the law of conservation of mass. As we saw in the previous equation, no new atoms were formed or destroyed. The atoms simply rearranged themselves. The law of conservation of mass states that mass is conserved in a chemical reaction. The total mass of the products is always equal to the total mass of the reactants. This is because atoms are neither made or destroyed during a chemical reaction. In the next program, we'll look at writing and balancing chemical equations.